Hey, what's up, family? Look, check this out. I know right now may not be the best, but I want you to do me a favor because, like, if you do this, this will encourage you. This will, this will help you catch your second win. This will help you stand firm and help you persevere and endure through what you're going through. Look back at the times, the events in the past and it was it was hard for you you didn't see it was possible you needed a breakthrough you just didn't see it in the near future how many times in the past have something happened for you whether it was a breakthrough whether it was healing whether it was a a um encouraging word whenever you needed needed it even from a stranger um you needed um some type of uh, monetary blessing and you didn't have it and you needed this money to put on your rent to pay your car note whatever it was look back at those times and just remember the state of mind you're, you were in where your spirit was how discouraged you was and then boom it happened and times where you broke down and you can say man that was only God there was no way out of this situation. Yeah, true, he used people. He used us to encourage one another, to be there for one another, to assist, whatever it is. He used us to be there for one another because it's a brotherhood, it's a siblinghood in, in, in the eyes of Christ, right? But just think about that God moment when you know it was nobody but God. Remember that. Reminisce on that if you need to. My point is, if you look back at those times, how I felt like there was no way out of your situation, but something came through and it was, and you know, it was only God. Whether you want to acknowledge it was God or not, guess what? Regardless, he used them on your behalf. He touched their heart on your behalf. He spoke to their spirit on, on your behalf. So understand that was God. Take that, remembering that, and apply that to where you are now. And may that activate your faith. May that activate you believing again. May that activate you trusting again. May that activate your feet moving in action now that you are encouraged. Now that you can put your best foot forward. Now you can smile again. Now that you have peace again. No, it was only then because of God. And you may not see a way out now. You may not see it being possible now. But remember back then and look at it now and thank God now for what he's doing behind the scenes because your breakthrough is coming. Because your healing is coming. You already been saved. Christ, Christ laid down his life for us. You already been saved. Unfortunately, we must go through the go through. But guess what? He have a way out for us. We're looking in all the wrong places. We're going all to the wrong people. We need to go to the one who control everything. The one who is able. The one who makes it all possible. And it's only in Christ. So be encouraged today. Because just like then, he got you now. Go to him. Just start thanking him and giving him praise now. Although your situation has not changed. Give him praise now. Lift him up now. Thank him now. Thank him now. That's faith. Because you know, just like then, he's going to come through for you now. Be patient though. Because our emergency isn't his. He already know how it's going to end. He wants us to trust him. So just cling to him and go walk with him. And I promise you, he will cover you. He will see you through. You might get a little scrapes on, on, on your elbows and knees and everything, but it's okay because he's still healed. He got you. He got you. Be encouraged today. He's taking you somewhere. If something has to be, be, be done in this season that we may not understand, but he say all things work together for the good of those who love God and who are called according to his purpose. You are called. You love God. So all things will work out for the good. 
I love you guys. Stay blessed. Peace.